Linux Mint Software Manager makes it super easy to find and install new apps. Here's a quick guide how to use it. Step 1. Open the Software Manager. Click the Software Manager icon from the menu. It should take a moment or two to load. This is where you can browse and manage software. And the good thing about using this method to download new apps is because the apps available in Linux Mint Software Manager are generally safe to use and have a very low risk of containing malware or viruses. Because the software manager pulls applications from the Ubuntu official repositories and Linux Mint's own repositories, these are well maintained and curated by the community and developers. Most software is open source, meaning the code is publicly available for review, reducing the risk of hidden malware. Many apps are widely used by the Linux community and any malicious behavior would quickly be discovered and reported. The Linux Mint team tests and maintains packages in their repositories ensuring compatibility and safety. Also packages are signed with the GPG keys ensuring they come from a trusted source and have not been tampered with. Some apps in the software manager are available as flatpak packages which runs in isolated environments called sandboxes this adds an extra layer of security, but may require more disk space. And usually flat packs are much heavier than regular packages, like you see here, download 1.1 GB and requires 3.5 GB of disk space, which is huge, but be cautious of third-party repositories. If you add a third-party repository PPA for apps not in the software manager, ensure it's from a trusted source. If you only install software from the software manager, official Ubuntu repositories or Linux Mint repositories and avoid adding third-party PPAs, which are the third-party repositories and downloading random DEB files from unknown websites, you should be safe. Though in another video, I'm gonna show you how you can install software from a third-party repository if you need to. So stay tuned, that's gonna be soon. Step two, search for an application. As you can see here, it shows you the most popular apps that you can try out. So you can search apps by categories, for example, accessories, phones, games, graphics, internet, office, programming, and so on. Also, there are the top rated ones like this math game for kids. Then there is a text maker, Firefox browser, Blender, and much more. As you can see, there are quite a few ones you can try out. But if you want to just quickly search for the one that you need, go to the upper search bar and type the name of the app you want. For example, I want to install VLC player, so just type VLC and it will find you all the results here. You can also see the review of the app, as you can see 4.6 out of 5, this is a pretty good result. You can click on the app to see more details, including reviews and size. And you can see more details about this app. It is only 14 megabyte to download, but it will occupy 63 megabyte of disk space on your computer. The reviews are really great. It has more than 1700 reviews. It has 4.6 rating, which is really great. And because it says it's a system package, this means that this app is designed to work with Linux Mint and it will not occupy as much room as a flat pack, for example. Anyway, step three, install app. To install the app, click install. It says that additional software will be installed. And like it said, it's 14 megabyte to download and 63 megabyte of disk space will be used. So just click continue it will ask you for the authentication password so just enter your password and press authenticate it will start downloading the app and installing it there we go that was super quick similarly you can remove the app if you don't want it find it in the software manager and click remove it will remove the app from your system let's go ahead and try it out click launch and there we go this is our player If you're not sure what to install, you can browse categories. For example, the science and education. It gives you all kinds of apps related to science and education. As you can see, there are quite a few apps. So you can find the one that you like. For example, this Galgulator. It's not a calculator, it's Galgulator. <laughs> Pretty funny. But it looks like it's a scientific calculator. And it's only 133 kilobyte. And it's all requiring 1.5 megabyte of disk space. And yeah, like it says, it's a scientific calculator that supports different number bases, different angles. So yeah, let's try it out. So just click install and let's go ahead and launch it. 
And there we go. We got the scientific calculator. There you go. That's all your fun stuff here. So if you don't want to use it, just click remove. And it's going to ask you for the password again. And then just press authenticate. There we go. The app is completely removed from your system. Let me know what is your favorite app that you have downloaded. Here's the next mint software manager in a nutshell. Like and subscribe for more Linux Mint tips. And if you want to support my channel, you can use Super Thanks or check out the support links in the description. I appreciate it very much. And until next time, bye-bye.